Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about paint spraying food. So let's look at the example first. When an object enters the booth, the spray should start and continue for 10 seconds. After that, drying fans will turn on for 10 seconds and then puncher will be activated to push the object. When an object enters the booth, the sensor will detect the presence of that object and which will start the process of spraying the paint and it will be continued for 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, drying fans will turn on for another 10 seconds and after 10 seconds, the puncher will be activated to push the object. So in this case, we will use normally open contacts and some timers like TP and TR. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for paint spraying booth. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. And then I will click on apply. And then I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select our logic controller. I will select TM221C to 4R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. So here is a device description. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2JDB. And then I will click on apply. After that, I will go to programming. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for this example. So I will click on this option to set a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0, 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as start. button yes and then i will insert one more normally open contact and i will assign address to it as i 0.1 i will also add symbol to it as sensor so it will detect the presence of an object at the pool then i will insert a coil And I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as spray nozzle. Yes. So when start button is turned on and the sensor detects the presence of an object at the booth, then the nozzle will spray the pain on that object. And this process should occur for 10 seconds. So for that, I will use a timer. And that should be pulse timer, that is TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 10. And then I will click on apply. So after spraying, there will be the process of turning on the drying fans. So for that, I will insert a new rug and I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address rate as I 0.0 and I 0.1 which is a sensor. Start button should, should be on. Sensor should be activated that it should have detected the, the, that object. And then the spring should have been done. So that is why I am using a normally closed contact. And I will assign address to it as Q 
0 0.0 and then I will insert a coil. So I will assign address to it as Q 0 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as dry fans. So these dry fans will turn on when start button is turned on, sensor is activated, sensor has detected that object and spray nozzle is off. So this spray nozzle will be off after 10 seconds. So drying fans will turn on after 10. So for that, so these dry fans should be on for 10 seconds. So for that, I will use one more timer for dry fans and that will be TP pulse timer. I will change time base to 1 second and reset value as 10 and then click on apply. So, so the spray nozzle will turn on for 10 seconds and drying fans for 10 seconds and after 20 seconds the puncher should get activated. So for that I will add a new rung and insert normally open contacts and then a coil. I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0, 0.0 and I 0, 0.1 which is a sensor and then I will assign address to this normally uh, to this coil as Q 0 0.2 and then I will use a timer here and that will be T on. I will change time base to 1 second and reset value as 20. So I will also add symbol to it as puncher. <clears throat> so this puncher will get activated after 20 seconds. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And I will launch simulator. And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen. So when start button is turned on and the sensor gets activated, then the nozzle will start and it will spray the paint for 10 seconds. So when this uh, process has ended, this will become false and the dry fans will turn on for another 10 seconds. And after that, the puncher will be activated. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.